Meet Brian King Joseph, the California violinist who defied his own health condition and shredded the America's Got Talent stage. What did it feel like for you being up on that big stage? It was uh, unreal mm -hmm. to just hear them speak my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's something that I think stuck with me this whole time was just Simon Sane Brian. Yeah out of his mouth right, right. now. Right, 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 right. right. Um, so it's it's a humbling experience. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Woo! Thank you. Amazing. Um, what was it like having Tyra right there in the background like for you? Because you know, she's there at the Mama Bear. Tyra made my day. Yeah. Okay, I'll be honest. Um, she gave me a little boost, okay? I was backstage and right before I'm going on for my audition, I saw Tyra. Yeah. And, hey. <laughs> and she turns around, waves back and says, hi cheekbones. I, I don't know about you, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try out for America's Next Top Model <laughs> next year. But she definitely gave me a huge boost of confidence there. Stepping out on that stage and, and, and sharing your art is a vulnerable thing as it is, but you also opened up about your health issues. Three years ago, uh, I was diagnosed with a serious uh, nerve disease that takes away the feeling from my hands and my feet. This basically left me bedridden um, throughout my later high school and early college years, just bedridden, not wow. able to play uh, my violin, much less, honestly, walk to the bathroom. Do anything. Anything yeah. physical. I was so sad, and the only thing that could ever make me happy, that always would make me happy, was my violin. Brian says he hopes his story inspires other kids to chase their dreams no matter what. And if he wins that million dollar prize, he's putting his money where his mouth is. One of the biggest plans I have with uh, this money is really to create opportunity for people like me. Because mm. I feel lucky. Yeah. Okay, I feel very, <laughs> very, yeah. very lucky. I just feel like I broke out of something that almost people would say, would definitively say, you know, you can't do this. Turns out that's not true. Totally. And if that's not true for me, then it's not true for anyone else.